Hey everybody, it's Paul back with Epic TCG. All right, we have more Ultimate Masters and after the last box, I thought we would just have a little bit of fun here. So just open this up to do the thumbnail. We're gonna pull out all the Liliana packs. I got them sorted out here, yeah, there we go. We're gonna pull out all the Karn packs and we're going to put out all the Vengevine packs. We're going to keep the packs separate here. All right, uh, there we go. There we have it. There's our box topper way back there. All right, we're going to see what what is better. We, boy, we've only got four packs of Karn, but you know what? All the Mythics might be in there. Or some good rares or, you know, foil, some other. We've got 10 packs of Liliana. We've got 10 packs of Vengevine, four packs of Karn. Karn has some ground to cover. We have one box topper. Before we get started with that, I uh, wanted to give a shout out to a couple of people. Uh, Jeanette Chavez um, comments on like every video, doesn't, isn't asking a specific question, uh, just is always super nice, very positive. Just wanted to uh, give you some props, Jeanette. Thank you very much for all the support. Um, hopefully I said your name right. I don't know if it's Jeanette or Jeanette. Um, say it like French, Jeanette Chavez. Uh, it's like French, Spanish, I don't know. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, another shout out here. This one's actually kind of funny. It was on the video where I said a wave two restock is coming. Um, I was just doing a little bit of commentary on that while we were opening something up. Uh, Barrett Gonda wrote, and um, I'm not, not going to read what he wrote in the comments because he had some really bad language, but uh, it was like, you know, you are wrong because you are an effing Timmy. Third, fourth, and fifth run coming. I know because I'm not a Timmy. You predict no second run, you effing moron. I would never listen to someone like you. Goodbye, Timmy. I mean, there was a lot of caps in there. It was all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, man, I like really triggered good old Barrett Gonda over there. <laughs> you know, Barrett, I'm just going to tell you, I mean, I, 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 thanks so much for the comment. I do appreciate it. You guys who are watching, please don't, you know, don't agree with me. If, you know, if you got your opinion on stuff, man, I mean, just because I've got a camera and I'm putting up videos doesn't mean I'm right. Um, I've got my opinion. You've got yours. That's just the way that it is. Um, I like that you watch Rudy's stuff and you know what a Timmy is. Um, good luck to you, sir. Um, I hope that, uh, hope that everything goes well for you. And, uh, and you know, I, Honestly, I would like it if there was a huge, you know, second, third, fourth, and fifth print run of this. It would drive the price down, and um, I would I would buy more boxes, and I would have more fun opening packs. Of course, it would crash the price of what I already bought, but that's okay. Um, you know, I'll suck it up. I'll, I'll live. It'll be all right. All right, so we're starting with the Vengevine. Uh, we got to reanimate to start with here. So I'm going to have to keep these separate today. Um, anyway, yeah, I just thought that, that that comment was pretty funny. I mean, I mean Barrett got triggered by <laughs> <laughs> by, by something. Flight of Fancy. I think this is a cool looking artwork. Um, that reminds me of like the old school artwork a little bit. It's a little bit cleaner looking, but in the foil it looks kind of fun. Squee Goblin Nabob. All right. Anyway, everybody was making a bunch of noise about a second print run, but haven't seen it yet. Ooh, Kodama's Reach foil. Sweet. One of the two best commons in the set. All right, Gaddock Teague. Nothing wrong with that. So far, the Vengevine packs are doing okay. Uh-oh, something's going on upstairs in my house. I'm hearing all kinds of stuff happening up there. Daybreak Coronet. You guys might have heard somebody thumping around up there. I wonder if somebody's at the door. Somebody's running to get them. All right, let's see what we get. We're getting like a lot of the middle of the road, um, like low, lower dollar. Okay, Taller on the Sky Summoner is our foil rare. This is like the fourth box in a row that we've gotten a bad foil rare. I hope, hope this might be one of the boxes where we get an extra foil rare because, you know, we just kind of been hitting all around the place here with these boxes. Um, you know, n not losing big, but... But, but losing losing a little bit here, a little bit there. So really, really hoping for, for a big box overall here. Crow of Dark Tiding, Celestial Colonnade, all right. So yeah, I was saying that we're getting a lot of the, 
Celestial Colony is a, uh, an excellent rare. That's, you know, $17, $18. Um, but we're getting like a lot of the $3 and $4 rares. Like Bridge from Below, Daybreak Coronet. Aether Snipe, another good common foil. Dig Through Time. That's a good rare. Right now it's just not worth all that much. But it's a good rare. All right. All right, what do we go with next here? Do we go with Liliana? So it's like Liliana versus Vengevine, and that's sort of, uh, you know, fair, because there was each 10 packs. Demonic Tutor, awesome rare. Vengevine's doing really well here. We ended the last video with the Vengevine box topper. Um, I was kind of being silly when I thought, okay, I'm gonna, you know, do, do the Vengevine packs all together. Um, but the Vengevine packs have been pretty good to us so far. No mythics yet, but some good rares. Deranged assistant foil. All right, Revel Arc. All right. It's amazing how many of the rares that used to be like four, five, six, seven dollars just like crashed to like below a dollar with this product. Um, I think I think just so many of them entered the marketplace at once, and there were so many other cards to get. People just don't. People just aren't spending the money on them. And in order to get some sales for people who really want to move some cards, they're just having to drop the price. Disrupting Troll, Lava Spike. So a really, I mean, a good set of uncommons. Great foil commons. Uh, let's just take a quick look here at Venge Vines cards. So Demonic Tutor, Celestial Colonnade, um, Gaddock Teague and reanimate that's definitely four hits and a couple of really good ones there from the rares uh we had bridge from below and daybreak coronet are also good solid cards dig through time is a little bit lower down on the tier and then some bulk so all right so that's what we're that's what we're working with there for vengevine i'm going to set those aside let's go ahead let's just do the box topper right now I feel like we need to shake things up a little bit. I've been, I've been waiting until the end to do the box topper. Not intentionally, just been opening packs. I've kind of forgotten about it. This time I wanna, wanna open up midway through. Just kind of shake things up, get some like good luck going. Here's some good karma. Here we go, ready, one, two, three. Goro's Vengeance is our box topper. Good looking card. Um, somebody wrote, I can't remember who it was. I think it might've been Bumpasaurus was saying that they feel like the card, that the artwork goes to the edge, looks better, and definitely agree that's one that goes to the edge. Good looking card, but again, it's another one of those lower tier box toppers. That is not what you wanna see when you're opening this kind of product up. But it is what it is. All right, on to the Lilianas. Wouldn't it be funny if all the mythics were there with Karn? All right. Runham Unicorn Foil, Seismic Assault. Not off to a good start, Lily. Not off to a good start. Oop, almost opened a card. Almost, almost destroyed our uh, results there. Skywing Aven, Containment Priest, okay. That's a good, good middle of the road rare. Wild Hunger. This is just a creepy card to me. That is a big snake. I like snakes, but that's just a big one. All right, Raging Arene. Another couple dollar rare. All right, so we've we've gotten something to match to match our you know our, our few dollar things. Ulamog's Crusher Foil, Fulminator Mage. All right, that uh, that'll stack up against Reanimate. Did we just get, did we just repeat our uncommons? Living Lord, Brawn, Ancestors Chosen, Ancestors, okay, no, it's different. Okay, thought we got like the exact same three uncommons. But nope, it was different, it fooled me. All right, we're gonna need a heavy hitter to go up against Demonic Tutor. Need something like an Engineer Explosives or a Noble High Arc, an Ancient Tomb will work. All right, so we got Ancient Tomb. Good, good $20 rare there. 
I love getting ancient tombs, demonic tutors, Phyrexian altars. Um, I ended up going to a card shop, actually two of them, over the past weekend, and I can't tell you how excited people were. Liliana Mythic out of a Lily pack. Double Liliana. What does it mean? Awesome. All right. So the Liliana packs are easily going to win that battle against Vengevine. Was there ever any doubt? The answer is no. Um, I can't tell you how excited the people were at these stores to, um, you know, to trade for Ultimate Masters. Um, they're really... There just really wasn't a lot of supply that was circulating. Um, a lot of people had opened them up, but they were playing with the cards, um, which is good. I was very, very happy to see that. They were loving the idea of trading older stuff to get Ultimate Masters that they needed. Uh, Phyrexian Altar was a big, big hit for them. A lot of people wanted those, so if you have those... Um, May want to think about holding them. I actually feel the price is a little bit soft on them right now, but you know that's something that you got to take a look at and decide. On other ones which were um, you know sought after were temporal manipulation. Uh, that was a little bit of a hidden gem and kind of unexpected. Um, Entomb. Entomb was another one that a lot of people wanted. So a noble hierarch. Whoa, noble hierarch, ancient tomb, and Liliana out of the lily packs. We don't even need to think about it. Lily runs away with the victory. Even if we didn't pull the Liliana, even if we just like threw the mythic out, um, Liliana would still win <laughs> engineered explosives to top it off. Okay, so um, I think we're gonna be okay on this box, guys. I, I really, I just, I just think we're gonna be okay even with the Gorio's Vengeance. I think it's all going to be all right. I think. We're going to have to look at the end of it, but I think we'll be all right. Now, we should get two more Mythics. You know, on average, we should have three Mythics in the box. So I'm hoping we get two more in the card box, Unholy Hunger. Emrakul. All right, cool. That is only the second Emrakul that I have pulled. And that was another one. The All of the Eldrazi uh, people wanted. Uh, Kozilek especially. He was, um, he was by far the most popular, but all three people wanted. All right, two mythics. All right, Merit Lodge, Blood Flow, Cavern of Souls. Can you believe this box? This is insane. Could you imagine what this would be like if we got a decent box stopper? Cavern of Souls. Liliana, Emrakul as our mythics. And I mean, I feel like we've gotten like every good rare in this box. I mean, it's just been, it's just been silly. All right. Mammoth Umbra, Sovereigns, Eternal Witness. All right. And Shiryu Shinzo's caretaker and nursing shoal. Okay, so we ended up with just the tall Rand Scholar Summoner as our foil rare. Let's just take a quick look back through this. So we've got 25 for engineer explosives. We're gonna call it 50 for noble high art, because I don't mind waiting until that price comes back. Um set so 75. 80 with all his dust, um, 100 with Ancient Tomb, 110, 110, 107-ish. All right, let's see here. Uh, all right, that makes, hang on, I'm, I'm, I think I messed up the, the math, 110. That'd be 117, so 120. 130 with reanimate, 140 with creepy Rudy, 150 with celestial colonnade, 175 with demonic tutor. Call it 180 in rares. That's uh that's been that's a really a good number for the rares. We got 
$70 in Lillian, I'm just gonna go low. We got $60 in Cavern of Souls and we got $20 for Emra Cool. So 80 plus 70 is 150 plus 180 is already 330. That's our cost of the box, give or take. And then we've got Gorio's Vengeance back there uh, as our box topper. That's basically a freebie. So great box there. Um, super awesome. Plus we got all the foils and all the uncommons and commons, which do have a lot of value. So definitely turned it around with that box. That was great. That evened out probably the last box that we just opened up. So awesome. That's what a little Liliana will do. I think the, the Liliana packs were still the best. In fact, I know they were because we only had four Karn packs. With those two mythics out of the Karn packs, and I think we got Engineer Explosives also, um, he would he would have given Lily a run for the money had he had a few more packs to work with, I think. Could have pulled maybe like a bridge from below or something, but I mean, we got like all the big rares in this opening. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and watching. Um, hope to see you guys next time. I'll see you later.